Hello, this is Roger Heska of HowToGoRaw.com, and I wanted to talk to you today about something very important for raw foodists, and that's the, the issue of being able to deal with the colder weather. Now, today is uh, October 20th, 2008. I'm here in South River, New Jersey. I'm standing outside. Uh, it's about 2.37 p.m. I, am, I have no shirt on. I'm in my shorts, as you can see down there. And what I, I don't know if I told you, it's about 61.5 degrees, all right? And uh, so I just wanted to show you that even, even though I've been on a raw food diet for now, 100% uh, raw food diet for over seven years, the colder weather, it doesn't adversely affect me. Like some people, when they go on a raw food diet, which is similar to like when you go on a fast, you start to feel really cold. And like, man, this raw food diet makes me feel really cold. Oh, I better... Uh, that's not good for my, my vata nature. Uh, I can't do a raw food diet or something like that. And, you know, you get this idea from, a, from your early trials of eating raw that it's not good for cold weather. But the, pro the thing is that it just takes the body a little bit of a time to adjust to eating raw fruits and vegetables. But eventually you will be able to deal with cold weather, especially if you do the raw food diet properly, get enough calories, so on and so forth. But it takes a little time for the body to adapt. Uh, it might take you a year. It might take you two years to fully adapt. For me, uh, it didn't, you know, as soon as I went 100% raw uh, the last time, because I had done it, I had tried it many times over a period of time. And yes, initially when I first went raw, especially when I did it in the wintertime, I was very cold. Okay, especially I was also doing something wrong. I was eating way too many citrus fruit. That was my staple. And eating a lot of oranges and other kinds of citrus fruit. Uh, that can throw you out of balance if you eat it every day for you know a month or two on end. Trust me, uh, <laughs> that can make you very cold, even if you're eating room temperature. It got to a point where I would take a, a bite, a room temperature bite of an orange, just one bite, and it would send shivers down my spine. So you can definitely overdo that. But uh, otherwise, you know, when it comes to hot weather, to me it feels like it's about seven degrees cooler. Seven degrees maybe even 10 degrees cooler than in my cooked food days. I mean, I can go out on the tennis court and everyone, in a hot, sweltering summer day, and the heat, the heat doesn't bother me at all, um, at least compared to everyone else. I I'm certainly have more heat endurance than anyone who's not on a raw food diet. So it gives you a big advantage. But the, you know, what I wanted to share with you is that it's not a problem in terms of being cold either. You, you eventually adapt. Now, I don't think I'm necessarily any better or worse than when I was eating my cooked food days in terms of tolerating cold weather. Uh, but at least it's, I'm not struggling. It's not a problem. You know, I just wanted to show you this because I'm about to go outside and, and, and do a workout outside like this so I can get you know, plenty of sun while I'm doing it. And uh, so I just wanted to let you know that uh, the cold weather is not an issue once you've been raw long enough. Okay, so I hope that information was useful. This is Roger Heska from HowToGoRaw.com and also from RogerHeska.com. You can come there and visit me and uh, get a bunch of uh, tips to help you succeed with the raw food diet, to improve your fitness, to improve your health, and to learn a few other controversial things that are going on in the raw food world and in our general world. All right, take care. This is Roger.